Did you know that 40% of buyer agents said the fact that their a home was staged made a big difference on their clients even wanting to see the home? This is why you've really got to put a lot of value into staging. So today I'm going to give you five tips on what you need to do to stage your house, to get it ready for the market and to get top dollar. So number one, you want to declutter. You don't realize how many things you have until it's time to get your house ready for sale. And then you get really mad. <laughs> so what you need to do is just start room by room, tackle it one at a time and start removing things that you are not using. Those things that you are not using, but you're gonna keep, put them in um, storage. Those things that you have that you are never gonna use, it's time to either throw them away or donate them or even sell them. I recommend Facebook Marketplace. If there's anything that is worth value to someone else, put it out there and get it sold. And quick tip, sometimes there's things that you don't even think that people would want to even buy. I've done it myself and I've advised it to clients like that couch that may look ugly to you, have no value, sell it for a hundred bucks and let somebody else get rid of it for you. It's just, it's great. So Facebook Marketplace to get rid of things that you don't need. Second, you wanna brighten your home and spruce it up. So with staging and brightening your home, what that means is you wanna like fresh, a fresh coat of paint goes a long way and it's a minimal investment if you really can consider the scheme of things. So right now, kind of like the trending colors are like your grays, like a gray beige combo. You want something that just really gives it a trendy look and then you have white baseboards and ceilings. It just really will brighten up things and even putting down new carpet, a light colored, neutral color carpet makes a big deal. Again, it feels fresh. It feels new. It brightens up things. So that's just a couple examples on just brightening up the house. Number three, curb appeal. Again, you want to make sure that not only your home looks great online in the pictures, but you're setting the tone. So when people do drive up to your house, you want to make sure your lawn is freshly manicured. The bushes are trimmed. You have beautiful flowers and it's been mulched. And then also you got to factor in the door. Make sure that you have a fresh coat of paint on your door. If your door is looking a little old and hasn't been painted in a while, and also the hardware as well. You want to make sure that everything looks fresh and with little maintenance as possible for the future home buyer. Another quick tip too is like if you have a deck or a patio, why not power wash it? Again, just to freshen things up on the exterior. Number five, depersonalize. I know you've heard this before, I'm gonna say it again. Get rid of all those family photos that are on your wall because you don't want people coming to see your house and focusing on looking at your things or your pictures versus looking at your kitchen, your bathrooms, your bedroom, or any of the major rooms that would be of interest to them. If they're looking at those things, it is distracting. So take those down, pack them up and just neutralize. So all you need to do is just put up, like if you have paintings that are just neutral, let that be the, the accent, because that's what you want, is more of an accent in every room. Just a few little knickknacks here and there. You don't want, um, you don't want a lot of things out. So just make it depersonalized, but also minimize what is on the countertops, what is in every room, just so that way people can see themselves in your home and mentally move in and want to go ahead and make an offer. If you have a starter home or a luxury home in a gated community, we would love to be your real estate resource of choice to sell your home. Give us a call at 202-255-9373.